We've seen schools close because of declining enrollment, but what happens to all those vacant buildings? They can become costly eyesores, but one district in St. Clair Shores is doing something new. Paula Tutman is live this afternoon, and Paula, this district could be making money and helping the community. Of course. So imagine a nonprofit that has a dinky little office space, and now it has a lobby. It's got a reception area. And take a look at all of this space, Karen. I'm going to walk all the way down here. They've got offices here. They've got a community room here. And it goes all the way down to the blue. They're paying less rent. That means more services. And it's great for the community. South Lake School District is a tiny school district in St. Clair Shores. Eight years ago, with a decline in students, it had to close one of its elementary schools, Pear Elementary. As you can imagine, there's not a huge market for a used elementary school, and an empty building this size is not a huge asset to the neighborhood. It got to the point where we kind of made the, the realization that it wasn't going to sell. And so the district came up with a brilliant plan B. Turn the facility into office space. Even better, make that office space for nonprofits to create an environment of collaboration and service at an affordable price. This is an opportunity for us to, to bring some life back into this building and then have that have a, a positive impact on, on this community, on our own families. So I think we're down to our last box. One of the first tenants, the Lake House, a nonprofit that provides support services for families dealing with cancer. The Lake House had been operating out of a small one-room storefront. We well, could only have one thing at a time. So we could have one support group or one yoga class or one craft group because there was just one room. Rosemary understands the power of this nonprofit. A bride for only three days, the love of her life died from colon cancer four years ago. Being here helped me see that I wasn't alone, helped me live a better life, and it truly made a difference in helping me get to that next step of, of not... Um, you know, not just kind of wallowing in my grief. We are growing rapidly um, because the, we have more space, so more opportunity for programs. We're offering new programs. It's a win, 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 win. The community doesn't have an empty building. The school district isn't pouring $25,000 a year, taking care of that empty building. The rent is only 2 to $3 per square foot per year. That means the lake house, with 5,800 square feet of office space, workspace, craft space, community outreach space, room for a piano, will only pay about $1,000 a month in rent. And once the entire school is rented out, it could yield as much as $75,000 a year in revenue, a $50,000 surplus windfall that goes right back into the district and to its students. It is an incredible way to revitalize a structure as well as a community. Now, the Lake House is having an open house next Tuesday evening from 5 to 7. You can come out, learn about their mission, but also the South Lake School Administration will be here to show you office space if you have a nonprofit. Karen, they've got, I think, maybe 10 more classrooms and even a gym that can be converted into nonprofit space. It really is a creative idea, Paula, and this is one that other communities can definitely borrow from for sure. Absolutely. Yes, indeed. I hope they do. I sure do. All right, Paula Tutman, live from St. Clair Shores. Thanks.